anybody hearing this broadcast perhaps could help us by telephoning um, the Coast Guard to register a complaint, possibly by contacting anybody in authority that you think could help us. This is the radio ship Ross Revenge broadcasting from the international waters of the North Sea. And for the moment anyway, we'll return you to our regular programs. Thank you. It appears that we are now being boarded by a Dutch tug. We are being boarded by a Dutch tug. Representatives of the Dutch government have just boarded the Ross Revenge. At the moment, one of the people that's come aboard has been violent towards our engineer. We haven't a clue what's going on at the moment. All we can uh, say is these guys are definitely not here to take photographs. No, and uh, at the moment we have the uh, DTI standing by at the rear of the ship. They are not at this stage appearing to do anything. Uh, we're going to make inquiries whether or not uh, they are going to allow this behaviour. As I say, there has been some violence and it's on behalf of the... Uh, it's, it's the Dutch people that have been doing it. We'll uh, get back to you. Right, in the meantime, let's uh, send these people a message from us. Here are the Beatles and Caroline, and all you need is love. This is the radio ship Ross Revenge. Uh, we appear to be in quite a dangerous predicament at yep. the moment, Bruce. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, we have a ship alongside us. It's a Dutch vessel. The Volans, I believe. The Volans. Yeah, the Volans. And uh, it is endangering everybody on board. All right. This uh, is... Uh, just one more message, please, Chris. I've just spoken to the Dover Coast Guard. For anybody listening, would they please stop now calling the Coast Guard? Okay, so once again, uh, anybody who's listening, please stop calling uh, Dover Coast Guard. Dover Coast Guard apparently now are fully aware of the situation. Love is all you need. Uh, we've got Nigel Harris with us. Nigel. Yes, um, we have been now boarded by the Dutch uh, authorities. We are in desperate need of help. And they are to shut the station down and take us all off. Right. Um, if, uh, if we are in international waters, this is a breach of uh, this vessel's right to be here. And... Um, I uh, desperately plead for help. We need help now. So please, anybody who is uh, listening, anybody who is in authority, anybody who thinks they can do anything at all, please help us. This is Radio Caroline, anchored in the international waters of the North Sea. We are currently being boarded. Well, the latest news we have uh, on board the Ross Revenge is apparently... Um, whether we can believe it or not, uh, but uh, according to uh, our sources, this particular vessel, this Dutch vessel, this hostile Dutch vessel, is acting on behalf of the British government. Please call your local MP, councillors, local radio stations and uh, local newspapers with anybody. Please help, quick. Thank you, Neil Gates. Uh, we've got just about, well, not quite everybody in the studio at the moment, but we've got a fine crew here. Uh, what's the latest news, Nigel? The, um, the authorities are on board now, making their way to the studio. Right, this could be the end. We wish you... We stay as long as we can. We wish you a lot of love. We've been uh, here since 1964, Easter Sunday, 1964, and hopefully someday Radio Caroline will be back. In fact, I feel sure that we will. Please... Keep listening. Loving awareness is free. 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 This is Radio Caroline, the radio ship Ross Revenge, anchored in the international waters of the North Sea. This is a Panamanian vessel being boarded illegally on behalf of the Dutch and British governments. There's a Dutch tug alongside and they are already on board the ship. They have already used, used violence against certain crew members here on board the Ross Revenge. If you can help us, please call your local radio station, local media, anything. Anyone you think can help us, call, please, now, before Caroline goes. A very good afternoon to you on this uh, black day. It is Saturday, the 19th of August, 1989. The radio ship Ross Revenge, the home of Radio Caroline, for many, many years. We have been boarded by officials, and indeed one might even uh, go so far as to say a couple of thugs from uh, a Dutch vessel which is alongside. Uh, several uh, members of the crew have been uh, manhandled, and it appears that their intention is to tow this radio ship away. This, of course, is uh, 
a flagrant breach of international regulations. It is exactly six years today since our broadcast started from this boat. This is a fine anniversary present. One wonders about the uh, timing of this event. 25 years on the air, six years on this boat, and they're now illegally boarded us in international waters with every intention of throwing the vessel away. So if there is uh, anybody, anybody at all out there who can perhaps offer us some assistance, uh, whatever that might be, please, 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 please try. It's coming up to one minute before one o'clock. Uh, we've had just about uh, everybody uh, associated with the radio station in the studio. We have uh, Caroline Martin, who's beside me. Not looking too well. Nobody's... Two things are going on now downstairs. Apparently, uh, discussions are going on in the mess room. We shall keep you posted. In the meantime, just to uh, reiterate that message, this is the radio ship Ross Revenge anchored in the international waters of the North Sea. We have been boarded by a Dutch vessel. Once again, we have been boarded illegally by a Dutch vessel. A good question. Do you know what it's like to be free over the, uh, over the years since Easter Sunday 1964? We have known what it's like to be free. And uh, the only trouble um, about freedom is that it scares a lot of people particularly the people who themselves are not free. And when they see freedom, the only thing they can think of to do is uh, to try and stamp it out. And uh, Radio Caroline refuses to be stamped out. We will be leaving the uh, any moment now. The uh, boarding party are finding their way to the transmitter room and they are going to dismantle all our broadcasting gear, take the studio to pieces, dismember the, dismantle the generators and then incapacitate the ship totally. Um, we'll also be taking staff with them, uh, but I'm not too sure exactly how that one works at the moment. But they are now making their way downstairs. We will be going off the air any time. Nigel, this is the saddest day of my life, and I think it's going to be a sad day for a lot of people. Yeah. I know, but um, we, we just can't fight them. There's too many of them. They have a tug the size of the Ross, and uh, it's not the end, I'm sure, although it's easy to say that. The Ross Revenge is not the only ship in the world. We will be back, we can assure you that. Caroline. We'll be back. Caroline will return. The 19th of August 1989 is the day the UK, Great Britain, became a totalitarian state. Radio Caroline, we love you too much to leave you forever. Please keep tuned uh, over the weeks and months to come to uh, our frequencies. And I feel sure that uh, you will hear something in the not too distant future. Uh, we've got a further uh, news update for you. Here is uh, Dave Richards. Yes, the situation is that uh, representatives from the Dutch government and Coast Guard are on board. Their intention is, in fact, to take various broadcast equipment. Uh, we're not sure whether that includes our AC generator supply, but surely it does uh, include our shortwave frequency, the 819 frequency, and vital components, or the whole transmitter for the 558 frequency. Also, our studio equipment, what they, in they intend us as... Uh, uh, people no harm. Um, the, the, the basic problem is is that they basically just want this ship off the air. They're leaving the ship and they're leaving the people on board it. We have the option to go ashore apparently if we want to. Um, right, I don't anymore. Do you know what's happening? Bruce Monroe, come on. Yeah. Explain things. Right, as it stands, the gentlemen are going to remove the transmitter from the ship and take a few other things as well. Uh, what they have just told us is that we are free to go back to Holland with them where there will be no more charges pressed. We will also uh, be able to go back to England and there will be no charges pressed there. Alternatively, we can stay on the Ross Revenge. Uh, now, would you like to say anything, sir, before we go off?